Hello and welcome to another episode of Stories Around the Globe. My name, as usual, is Eunice Felicity, and beside me, as usual, is the usual suspect. <laughs> it, please it's introduce Barry, yourself. Thank you very much for joining. Still us. being prideful. All right. So another rundown of our stories around the globe. We're going to give you, give you a rundown of what has been happening during the week and during the weekend also. So Victor Library, can you help us with the first? Yeah. So story? we've got a couple of stories here. We have bandits kidnap two Catholic priests in Kaduna State. Okay. And we also have um, this story coming in from Midway, and the tag is actually very, very funny. It says, even when they do not have food to eat, they have the desire for sex. Hmm. Wow. Wow. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Going next. And there's the still this Baba Ijesha story, Baba Ijesha saga. So much has been happening around yes, you. Yes. Yes. Coming in. We're going to fill you in and tell you all that concerns that man at this time. Yes. So we have uh, also Adeleke emerges victor in Ocean State. Mm -hmm. Also, following that, we have influence of David Doe in the election. Tenable statements to Labour Party and one bat down. Mm. Yeah, and one beautiful thing that happened over the weekend, we saw the veteran actor, Oluji yeah. Tops as he celebrated his 8th birthday and we had quite a lot of people who came in for that celebration said yes, quite a yes. lot of things we will fill you in too as well as regards that celebration and the way it went okay next we have boyfriend refuses to pay girlfriend's extra bills hmm. mm -hmm. why will he refuse to pay he has to sit back and watch and in the world of football we have some a couple, some, some couple of transfer stories ranging from Christian Eriksen to Kula Bali we will tell you about that and um, we will also fill you in on some of the games that went down over the weekend talking about the preseason all these and more we have in store for you on the program this beautiful day yeah 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 so before we dive in Victor how was your weekend? Well, my weekend was great it was beautiful I uh, <clears throat> didn't really had much to do, but no, you were clearing your throat like you want to say something. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've been okay. up to those concerts we've been preparing for oh. quite a long time now. The concerts will be coming up next week, so preparation has been heated and all of that. So it took a chunk of my weekend, uh -oh. and so it's just been music, music, music all through. How about oh. yours? Mine was good. Mine was amazing. Like we had a concert too, and. Jesus was brought down. Mm. Yeah, <laughs> Jesus was brought down. So, I, I that, that was basically how my weekend went. I didn't even have time for myself. I just, I just running down, running down to make sure the concert was okay. Mm -hmm. So, but we thank God it went well. It went so, pretty well because yeah. you had to see our stats. So uh, just. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right, let's dive into our first story. Um, bandits kidnapped two Catholic priests in Kaduna State. Kaduna State is uh, one of the no uh, northern part uh, states in, in Nigeria, West Africa. So, Victor, can you help us with that story? Well, over the weekend, we saw that two Catholic priests were kidnapped in Kaduna State. Yes. Um, it's so sad because. You know, it has gone to it has gotten to this point where it doesn't it doesn't hit us anymore. No, it doesn't. It's, it's, it's now, not a surprising it's now, thing. It's now common for us to okay, how I many it's it's not it's no longer about the death. It's now about the numbers. Yes. So it's more like uh, what you say there there was killing there. People are like how many people how died? How many people died? Children yes, enjoy. That's where it is yes. now. So it's not even about the fact that a life was lost. It's, no. What was the number? The number. And yes. you were like fifty persons died. It's small now. Yeah, it's more the last one that happened over 100 persons died yes. the last priest we had over 50 yes. priests taken abducted and this yes. one are just two priests that's how bad it is and it's so sad it's so that sad. it is at this point right now i mean we waking up every day to knowing that we are not safe it, we are not every safe day we get on the front you're going you're sometimes. stepping out of your house you're praying in your heart you don't even know what will happen straight bullets might hit you yeah car accident or uh, uh, kidnapping it's just it's rampant now and it's something that is it's constant and there's no they are not bringing they're not giving us any remedy for it so uh, it's like we're living in a normal world of kidnapping nothing nothing will shock you again anything yes. that comes uh, you know it's your fate it's 
terrible. It's terrible. If it's terrible. not bandits, it's kidnapping. If it's not kidnapping, it's Boko Haram. If it's not Boko Haram, it's prison heads, break. Man. If it's not headsmen, it's prison break. Yeah. It's, it's just something. It's just one thing or the other. I mean, it's so, it's so terrible. It's so terrible. We should so things actually gets better. Amen, no, amen. Hoping that things get better. We'll move straight to the next story where it says, even when they don't have food to eat, they have the desire for sex. And this actually happened in Benue State. Victor, please help us too with that one. <laughs> it's, well, okay, so we, we saw that the population day was observed. Yes. And, uh, last week, last Monday. Last week, Monday. Yes. And so, you brought about the population awareness, and certain states took to, you know, knowing okay, what's happening in our yes. states population wise. And so, in Benue State, they took to it to, to, to get themselves aware of, okay, what's our population like. And they discovered that, come on, the rate at which babies are being born to this world is, is alarming in Benue State. Okay. And these babies <laughs> are not <laughs> even born you. by the normal people. IDBs! <laughs> internally displaced Internally displaced. Are giving like, birth to children like chickens. When, when I saw this story, I, I got to wonder like, how? How? Because how? You should be like, okay, this person should be thinking about their return to their homes. Yes. Thinking about how to get food. Yes. How to kids. I'm not thinking about how, how to multiply children. <laughs> <laughs> it was discovered that our IDP brothers and sisters were we. I've no, been multiplying no, the world. Somebody actually <laughs> said. Somebody. Somebody actually said that um, when men are stressed, they tend to just. That's poor men, people that are poor. When they are stressed, they tend to just go into their wife and just, you know, and give birth to children. That it's out of frustration. <laughs> <laughs> but, but, but you should think. It's not about giving. It's not about going and having that pleasure at that moment. It's the, the, the problem after is effect, after the after pleasure. The problem is do they There's think, a child at stake. You're bringing a child to this world, right? After, do you have after having like seven, seven on ground on, on yes, catered for on children, catered for. children who are not in school, children who are not eating well, children who have poor hygiene. You have them on ground. And then yes. you're bringing another child to add so to, add to that one. So you should actually think. So when they were when when they were given a rundown of the population of the children, they were like, eighty children in seven months. Like, how? How do you guys do this? You don't have food to eat. Where you get straight for all this? It's it's so strange and it's it's actually funny and annoying. Eighty children in seven months. In seven months. So it tells you that that over over 10 children are giving birth to every month in a small idp community <laughs> come on then if you if you keep up the statistics how's it going to be like if they continue like, that progression in the next uh, two years jesus they'll give them a local government <laughs> people we are trying to help they're trying to help your future you're adding problem to us you know, like it's, this is so crazy it's, 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 it's not really if, if you it's a it's a bad situation i mean this thing's what no one will tell you if you are in your comfort if you're in yeah. your house hey watch the way you give breath and over if even you if you money, are in your comfort you should watch it away no, there are watch. people no there are people who have the money yeah there are men who marry so many wives it, there are men yes, who marry up yes, to four yes, wives yeah, because they have the money than, you know 12 15 children as yes. swear and all of them are trained well taken care of so if you have the money go for it but and if you, know you don't capable. have the money and you, you know, know you're not you're capable, capable then please watch it then if you know you don't have the money and you're not capable and you can't help but you need the pleasure then you should do the necessary yes go for family planning be quite exactly. there is family planning what's there exactly. uh, why stressing I, I, I the think, woman but, because the woman says she is going through a lot of stress Exactly. Her body alone. Then, like, well, but I, well, I think just... this. When you talk about some of those steps, I, I feel in a way maybe they do not know about it, considering the fact that. What is they do not know? No, I did, they they I know about know, because they, they, I, they do awareness for them. I think it's not enough. Okay. The awareness happens. Yeah, in the local communities, but yes. how much of the awareness is happening within in, the IDP, IDP camps? camps. How many persons go there to get this person's away? Most times it's just little or no some of, NGOs some, some who of just them, go there to provide some, water Some of them want, want the NGOs to come to their house inside and say, Oh, auntie, sister, take it's all this, like this family planning, do it, do it, do it, 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 it here. You need to see the way people 
people in a way neglect and kind of treat IDPs like scoffers. I school yeah, it's, them daily. It's, it's true. I, I it's can true. tell you that. See, if, if an IDP camp is running towards, if an IDP child is running towards you, you see the way people just con them. People just so there's this, there's this, there's this atmosphere around them where yeah. they don't really want to go out there so yeah. it takes those who have the guts enough because, to go into yes. their camp and, and get them away perfect. so I, I just hope that our ngos have been doing more they've been trying the government yeah. have been trying but i think they can still do more beyond do more. giving them water giving them food they can do more as a recap you know awareness towards the sexual life and the population that is rising in, in geometric progression i miss them all right so moving straight to our next story, uh, we, we are looking at the Baba Ijesha saga. Yes, some of you have heard about this story that has been going on for quite some time now, for a couple of years now in Nigeria. Baba Ijesha is actually a, a Yoruba film actor. So he was alleged he uh, he was alleged to have raped the daughter of Princess. Yeah. Princess also is a Yoruba uh, actress. So the, 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 the story and the, the saga has been on for quite some time. And recently, the court just recalled and the, the story and they found Baba Ijesha guilty and they had to, you know, sentence him to prison. And now, you know, Princess came out to gloat. He gets now, I want the case, I, I want this. He gets it, and she was like calling out on um, Baba Ijesha's friends. Okay, you people that were standing up for this man, you said this man uh, didn't rape my daughter. Are you now seeing God has actually fought for me? God, has... now the problem is this rape issue that, that is happening in in among the celebrities, those people that have money, they are the ones coming down stupid low to rape people that don't even have the power to stand up for themselves, and. Apart from the fact that they are actually doing this, it's even raping children. It's raping children supposed to be something that a matured man would be doing. You know, Eunice, when you think about it, it's so sad, man, but you know, when you think about this, it just boils down, it just shows you how some men are so wicked. Wicked? What pleasure do you derive wicked. in, in forcing a mind? It. You know, if you, if you if you're so stupid that you have a wife, you can't do whatever it is. Your wife cannot satisfy you. Then, if you're that stupid that you cannot even go to those who offer sex commercially, which is stupid on its own. Yes. Then how do you then condescend further to force a minor to bed? Somebody that That's don't like, even they don't, don't even know what it is you're doing to them. That's why I you know whenever I see men who do these things whenever i hear cases of this i just think the, the the mindsets and the psychology of such men have been altered yes for a man to sit down and look at a child a child and want to have sex with a in fact if, before you sex is aroused yes there, there should be an arousal yes. before you even think about having sex so what arises your your urges your urge in in you from a child? Is it Palenge legs that you see? The small child's Do leg or what? It's, it's it's so bad. It's just so bad. Please. What joy do you have? like the rate at which rape is is just growing in, in this country is just something that I I I, I, I can't even get where it's coming from. Because for goodness sake what joy will you derive? Like, just as he has said, what joy will you derive in being a pedophile, for goodness sake? Okay, now, there. there are some things we have to put Come into on. consideration. Because, okay, um, was it last week, I was with one of our colleagues, uh, I was one of our colleagues at uh, one, a particular school, and I saw a child bending over to pick something, and her uniform was... Up. The uniform was actually very short. I guess uh, the child was going, the girl was going with the uniform and she would be around uh, seven to eight years and the girl is now a bit chubby and the uniform her flesh and she's this fair baby girl that from afar when you just see her that thing just attracts you. 
and the girl bent over to pick up something and I was just seeing everything under this girl's head and I was so pained and the, my colleague just came to me I was like ah, what's up now why your face be like I was like see this thing look at it look at this girl you are putting this girl at risk what if I was a man that just it was like which girl which girl when he turned he saw he had to throw his face and he was like Jesus so if you think about all those things you, you notice that there are some parents that put their children at risk for goodness sake you know your child have outgrown that uniform that shirt why intentionally keep them in those uniform you say you don't have money but when they rape them now you have money to treat them abby please let's be guarded parents, parents let's do more let's be guarded let's be guarded our daughters, protecting our sons Let's do more to see that we don't put them at the point where they become victims of... These children are vulnerable. They are very vulnerable, easy to break. And once you mad your life from, from, from childhood, it's a big scar that it... Oh my goodness. Please, let's just move straight to the next. And now to the next story, moving away from all of the horrible news. Yeah. down to the political arena. Where over here in Nigeria, somewhere in Oshun State, a delicate emerges victor in the gubernatorial election that emerged that took place over the weekend. And um, we see, uh, it, it's it's not about it's not even about the victory. It's you know it's the things that followed up to that victory. Okay. And but well, it, it's it's good that well the people's choice were were validated yes. seeing that you know they, they were able to it's in Nigeria it's very difficult to throw away the ruling party. Yes. The yes. PDP emerged. Now people have come out to say that PDP that are dedicated yes. one because of the influence of the video. Of David the name Adelike. Yes. Yes. <laughs> is, is it really true? Yeah, you well, need to see the way, like, Davido took that lecture on his head. Yeah. Yeah, I saw see, videos the and is, pictures of him, the way he was singing, and he even sold PDP this yes, thing up and down. And like, was on, ah, this one is uh, serious on, this on, time, right? <laughs> this one are ready to, to win this one. <laughs> he was on motorcycle, mm-hmm. going about, going to people's houses, giving them, you know, this, and telling them, okay, this money is your national king. <laughs> It's part of your national cake. It is, and naturally, the video is actually a very, very is a very nice person, a philanthropist. He has been doing a lot of good things, a lot of. So who wouldn't vote for him? So we could, so we could say that um, he he actually also contributed. Yes, his influence was was there, and a a lot of people have been coming up and and stories have been coming like. "Ah." If it's me, I'm not going to vote for my uncle. Mm. I'll not allow my uncle to do this. Mm. It, it's also it's also about the connection you have. Yes. They have yes. the relationship between the uncle and the right. nephew. So that's true. And then to the follow down, we saw that before the election, also the proceedings that went down, we saw that Tinubu was in Oshun State to yes. campaign before before the results and all of that. But what happened was that something significant happened while the campaign was on. He talked about the Labour Party. Okay. Now the Labour Party is one of the parties now one of the third force party right now in Nigeria. When you talk about yes. the major parties, usually it used to be BDP and APC, but with the emergence of Peter Obi, um, the Labour Party has become a third force party in Nigeria right now to reckon with. So he made a statement and he was kind of trying to, you know, to throw jabs at yes. the Labour Party and yes. he said that for those in the Labour Party, they will labour to death. <laughs> Me, I don't want to be a labourer <laughs> and people shouted, I don't want to be a labourer. Wow. What do you think, you? Well, I'm so glad that uh, Peter will be didn't sit down. Mm. He actually came out and was like, my dear, even the Bible says he that does not labour does not nice Yes. My dear? <laughs> <laughs> my dear? Even the Bible <laughs> said that <laughs> if you don't labor, you will not eat. <laughs> so you have to labor. And a lot of us now, we are standing up for ourselves and saying, oh my God, we don't want free food. We don't want that. Don't dash me money. I want to work for my money. Exactly. I want to labor. Exactly. Don't you want to labor? I... <laughs> What's that? What's that? Not the labor that will kill me. <laughs> Slight labor. <laughs> And, and then there was also this um, this follow up. We saw this tweet that was trending massively um, over the weekend on Twitter. 
and it, it reads one bat down. And when you talk about bats, B A T, one bat down. B A T. I didn't say anything. I, I, I don't I don't Did know you hear anything from me? We, we don't we don't know I what it means, anything. but if you know what it means, kindly 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 share with us I what you think it is in the comment section. When people say one bat down, one bat down, all over Twitter, what are they saying? What do you think? Are we? What do you think about the whole thing? We, we, Put it in the comment section. We, we want to know. We actually have uh, three comments now below. Um, someone say Adeleke defeating Oyetola in hashtag Ocean Decide 2022 is powerful proof that the no powerful politician has greater power than the people. That's right. The most powerful office remains the office of the citizens of the Federal Republic of Nigeria. Mm. We did it in Ocean. We'll do it for. Obi Dati Trade it Trade it 3 okay. Hashtag mm. Yes, it's also this um, <laughs> tweet It reads Tinubu mocks LP When that's the Labour Party And said They will labour to you death At Ocean State Only for Peter Obi in, To in turn Into dignity in labour mm. mm, That's my guy He turned it to Dignity in labour mm. <laughs> also, uh, Namdi Ono said, I must commend INEC for this wonderful platform uh, slash invention. The INEC election result portal goes a long way to building people's confidence on the election umpire. It can only get better 2023 inside. You know, it just feels very beautiful to know that now people are getting aware and people are now taking what it is. They are right they are in right. their hands. Yes. People now know that hey, these people cannot just decide for us. We no. have what it takes to put who yes. we want yes. right there. It's not yes. going to be about see. It's not going to be business as usual. It's going to be a shock in 2020. Yes. The people's will will definitely prevail. Amen. And then moving away from politics, um, over the weekend we saw the veteran actor, Nigerian actor, and also he has he has also featured in a couple of Hollywood movies. Um, during his startup career days, talking about no other person but Olu Jacobs. He turned 80 Aww. over the weekend and yeah. it was it was so beautiful. It was a beautiful I mean, thing. I mean there were and, and there were quite a lot of people who came in. We saw the oh. governor of Ikita State. He came around and so many other veteran actors, so many dignitaries, celebrities. I yeah, mean, the former governor also. Of, yeah, the former governor. Yeah. States was there and it was it, it just it just it just goes on to say that now he's no longer acting, he's no longer you know making the impact he used to make. Yeah. But it just goes on to tell you that in the end it's what you've done, it's, it's what, what people done. know yes, you for yes. that will count. The life you need. The life will you've actually you. lived. I mean look at the testimonials and the words that were pouring in during his birthday, it was just so so overwhelming even the love was considering much. the fact that he had a uh, memory loss even those you, people coming yeah, to greet him yeah. he couldn't even remember yeah. them when he was receiving an award the other day and he was just looking at the award like what am i going to do with this and see at the end of the day i think it's the kind of person you settle for that will stand for you yeah. you get in the end so his wife was there for him like the wife was there, she stood, stood by him, she fought for him, she helped him through all everything. And she's still loving him by the day. You could see the disposition. She's still all. loving him by the day. Like, the the joy in her heart radiating from her eyes, like, oh my goodness. What more can we say? One happy, more. happy, happy 80th birthday to you from all of us here at Food and Health Communication. Yeah. It helps more, more age, do I say? Yeah. More age of fruitfulness and more <laughs> More happiness, health. more happiness, love. love, more money, Adam more recognition. More. <laughs> <laughs> Talking about the kind of woman you get married to or the kind of mm. uh, woman you stay You're with. You're in a relationship. <laughs> That's why they say the woman you marry can either make you or my you. Now look at this, our uncle, our brother that refuses to pay for his girlfriend's extra bill. Now let me just see what happened. So, my nigga <laughs> yeah. went out with his babe and they went to a restaurant. It was actually her birthday and he wanted to celebrate her. And he wanted to like just do something very nice for her. And he told her, boo, 
come up, let me celebrate you. Come to this restaurant and meet me. Probably a very big restaurant around there. And Auntie came all of a sudden. He saw her with extra friends. 18, 18 friends. I, I, I don't understand. They sat down, they ordered food, and was expecting my uncle to pay for it. And he came out and he, he walked out and she came out and was like, ah, nigga, you have to pay for the food. And he's like, I'm not paying no shit. You can't do anything about it. And she was like, ah, how would you say you are not paying anything? Now, look at these girls standing out. They are not even, nobody was even embarrassed to pay the bill. Mm. Why would you have friends that can't be embarrassed to pay your bill? I don't understand. What's the point of having this kind of friend? Victor, if you were in that position, would you pay for those bills? As the guy? Yes, sir. Well, I won't. <laughs> Let me see my talk. You can't bring 18 people. To do, do you know how much I have? <laughs> Come on, we should... We should. We should, we should really understand ourselves. Even if she wanted to bring that much, I feel the guy should have known, okay, okay, um, I'm bringing my friend. How many are they? 18. And then the guy considered 18. 18? Okay, okay, for can, what? Is it a party you want to I can go? man up, bring them. Okay, can you just make them 10? I can man up, bring them. Let's know about this thing. You don't just bring 18 Why would 18 you even persons bring 10 persons to a, a, a date I'm supposed to have with you? It's even stupid. Even if the guy could. Even if he could, I mean, it's stupid. That's, that's, not, that's no sense. sense. That's no sense. And she was calling him a broke nigga. These for goodness girls. sake, if you are rich and you're not broke, why did you bring 18 girls for girls, your guys with me? Considerate. Calm down. Things are not easy. <laughs> <laughs> Things are easy. <laughs> and now to the world of football, we've got a couple of transfers coming in. As we see that shockingly, it's Christian Eriksen has moved to Manchester United. It's, it it's, it's a shocker move for me. It was a shocker. It was a shocker because Well, I saw that coming. Yeah. No, I didn't I didn't see that <laughs> coming. I mean, he left people thought that when he left Tottenham, yeah. you know, his career days were already doing them because he left a, a full-fledged yes, top rated club yes, to no. Inter Milan, a low side team and then from Inter Milan people were thinking okay, that's where his career will fizzle out. And then from there, boom, back to Manchester United. A three-year deal. Well, uh -uh. to all Manchester United fans, congratulations <laughs> to you. We hope Christian Eriksen does better and help yeah. you guys get yeah. a trophy yeah. because yeah. over the last four seasons, it's been trophyless. Come on, Manchester United. What's fans. that? You don't, uh, uh, to, no, you don't have to rub it to their face. Are, 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 are you a Man U fan? I'm are you a Man U fan? I'm not. It's been I'm four not. years. Don't, don't, don't rub it to their face. So we hope Christian Eriksen helps you and you guys do better. And also for Chelsea fans, we understand that Koulibaly, Koulibaly, it's been signed, it's been done, it's been dusted. And he has begun training with you guys to fortify your squad as well. And then moving on finally in the world of transfer. Eunice, you want to give us the preseason um, rundown matches that went down? Okay, um, Arsenal 2 and Everton 0. Yeah. Zero, zero. Yeah, they were new. Aston Villa 1 and Elite 0. Why also, the is there, like, because on, it man. means nothing. <laughs> Don't make Leeds fans feel bad. It is nothing. It's just, just nil. Alright. <laughs> Bohamwood, zero. And <laughs> Brentford, two. Chelsea, two. And Comerica, one. <laughs> Crystal Palace, four. And Ipswich, I, Ipswich two. two. And finally, Manchester United shocked me. I wonder how they won Liverpool for zero. But you well, know, it's the preseason. No, you, Liverpool is just Liverpool is just Jara for them. For no, the it's other. the preseason. That's why when the <laughs> no, game no, starts, no, no forget the men will be separated what? from the boys. Mm, wow, <laughs> <laughs> that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> All right, thank you, thank you, thank you, guys, for actually staying with us. Mm -hmm. Thank you for those who commented and those that want to comment, drop your comment down below. Click on the subscribe button to subscribe to all our programs and also like our social media pages on Food and Health Quorum. As usual, I'm still Eunice Felicity and beside me... What's that? It's a lottery! <laughs> <laughs> So we come your way next time. We're saying keep staying safe yeah. because we're healthy. <laughs> your oh, health is your wealth. Being healthy is being wealthy. Exactly. Yes. Bye for now. Thank you.